it's been a while since I did a classic or not. So let's go to mixtape uh, route. I think it's the first time I did the mixtape. Check out the classic or not playlist where we talk about if rap albums and mixtapes are classics or not. And today we talk about Wiz Khalifa, Kush and Orange Juice. For people that don't know, Wiz Khalifa had came out way before that as a teenager when he had uh, the song, uh, what was it, Say Yeah, that was dope. I remember watching that when MTV Jams was MTV Jams and not BET Jams. But let's talk about it. Don't forget we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all those links in the description. Best way to you know help the channel while to share the video. And definitely for me, this was a classic. This is like one of the best comeback stories, you know, um, <laughs> in rap, low key, man. Because Wiz had to say, say, yeah, he was a teenager. You know, you hadn't heard from him for a while. And that was a hot song. And pretty much what he done was reinvigorate, reinvented himself. And he had a nice little vibe going out of Pittsburgh. All them Pittsburgh rappers I listened to, the guys he brought on, uh, and also guys like Matt Miller had a nice little vibe to him. They kind of brought that East Coast mix, mix uh, Midwest type of vibe. But this one, he had it here. This is what relaunched his career where he could have got a chick like Amber Rose and, you know, kind of crossed over like he did, man. Because when you talk about this album right here, man, this 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 mixtape, this mixtape did for him, you know, what 2 Chainz True Religion did for his career. You know, that was another comeback story that was really good. You know, but this right here was the real deal, man. I had this in full rotation, dog. Like, I still rotate this. This is like one of the greatest mixtapes I ever heard, man. And when you talk about songs that I really took out to me, wake up, bake up, gotta get my cake up. Mesmerized was so dope, man. And you had I Never Been. The original one was dope. I think it was doper than the remake with Amber Rose and Rick Ross. But that was dope, too. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And, you know, he just had, a, you know, he just just did his thing on this one, dog. You know, in the cut was another dope, another dope one. He just had dope track after dope track. You could play it all the way through. And this is kind of at a point where rappers still had their own style. He was spitting bars with his own East Coast, Midwest kind of laid back style. He wasn't using auto tune. He wasn't, you know, you know, rapping with a melody. He was being Wiz Khalifa. You know, and being himself, you know, relaunched his career. It truly did, man. And like I said, you can talk about Friday Night Lights uh, with J. Cole and the drought and some of the Sorry for the Way with Lil Wayne and Gucci Man Billion mixtape. I mean, GC has some, the Prime Minister. You know, he had a lot of different mixtape. But this one right here, it was sweet. Him and, and I do 2 chains later on or in another day. It was sweet because it put him back on the map. He was able to, you know do a lot of different things after this man and you know you gotta you gotta appreciate Wiz man Wiz was a, is a vet now you know he kind of going the ASAP Rocky route with doing other things and you know raising his kids his son he got Amber Rose and doing Oreo cookie commercials and you know stuff of that nature but I remember he would show up to the Fillmore in Detroit and that wasn't the biggest venue and he'd be smoking on the on the stage throwing blunts out and and you know, just seemed like a super dude, art, a cool artist. He one of my favorite artists. You know, even from from the turn of the century, definitely one of my favorite artists. This definitely one of my favorite mixtapes. It's up there. You know, because I didn't think he was gonna be able to come back. And sometimes when you a teenage rapper and people take you as a kid and you never can clear that image like Bow Wow, but definitely, if this was if I was giving mics, this definitely one of my five star. Uh, you know, uh, microphone or five mic mixtapes, man. And this could have easily been an album. You talk about some albums that could have been mixtapes. You talk about Big Sean, Detroit, De Detroit. He coming out with a second one, True Religion, Friday Night Lights by J. Cole was meant to be an album. So, you know, rap was still good in the early 2000s, or the 2010s. Was still pretty good, man. And Wiz Khalifa really represented that. But let me, let me know what you guys think. Do y'all guys think Cushion Orange Juice? Is a classic amongst mixtape. I don't care if it was a mixtape or album. Uh, it was a classic to me. But check out our classic and our playlist for more videos like this. We did Thug Motivation 101 in the past in Port of Miami. So check it out. Want to make a donation? Cash out PayPal in the description. Best way to donate is to share the video. And don't forget we on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. If you want to reach out for whatever reason, those links in the description. One time for the one time. Goodfellow Sports TV. It's your boy CJ Goodfellow.